welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to give you some of our top tips for when you first start out in caravan. These are a few tips that I wish we'd have known about when we first started caravanning. It would have made life so much easier. So the first tip I want to show you is I'd love to be able to take credit for this one, but unfortunately, this is someone else's idea. I just can't find a video showing you this tip. So I'm sure you're all familiar with these type of steps with the four feet and whenever we've been away and we've used these we've got three different types of step but we mainly use these ones they probably could do with upgrading because they are starting to show their age so I thought I'd uh, do a little modification that I stumbled upon so this is our first top tip right as you can see I've already drilled uh, holes in the legs and the reason being is because we are going to put caravan leg pads on the bottom of these legs to give them more support. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes and in our case these rods that push through the legs are 8mm. I didn't have an 8mm bit so I've used a 6 and I've just drilled out the hole. So all I'm going to do now is change me bit, change me bit to a countersink bit. Just tidy them off a little bit. tidies them up then what we're going to do get one of the pads obviously these have got arrows I don't think it makes any difference in, in our case um, so all I'm going to do obviously I've had to drill these holes out for that diameter push that through there through there and you use the little clip that comes with it push the little clip through the hole and there you go so with the magic of TV all four will be done in one second right so there you go all four legs now got the leg pads on that makes it a hell of a lot more sturdy so no matter whatever ground you're on it's going to be less likely to sink in especially on grass so there you go top tip number one Right, top tip number two. Um, over the years, we have experimented and messed around with so many different pegs, from plastic ones to you know to the basic ones to these T-shaped ones. We even bought these ones that screw in, but we found when these screw in, this hook bit tangles up with your with your awning. And it was just a pain in the backside. So my top tip is buy yourself some of these ones. Like that. These are called rock pegs. Perfect for soft ground, perfect for hard ground. We have never had a problem with these. They've gone in without a hassle. Whatever's getting in its way as you're knocking it in, whatever gets in its way, these move it. Absolutely brilliant. So invest in a box of these 20 and I think we paid 7.99 for and they are absolutely brilliant so like I say this is just my personal preference these are just our top tips we've found these to be the best which leads me on to top tip number three I'm sure you're all familiar with the basic rubber mallet we persevered with this and it was just an absolute waste of time as you can see there's all chunks out of it and every time you were hitting the pegs it was moving and we were struggling to get the pegs in until I just and it just dawned on me and I went to B&Q and I bought this this is a lump hammer I'm not too sure what it weighs but like as you can see it's only a small one but these knocking the pegs 
nothing nothing stops this combination and that's what's worked best for us over the last two years so that's top tip number three ditch your rubber mallet and buy yourself a lump hammer doesn't have to be a massive one like like, like as you can see that's about nine ten inches or so um, and this does the job far better than a rubber mallet believe me it's made life so much easier with the rock pegs and with a lump hammer nothing gets into it its way top tip number four whenever we went to site and we started putting our awning in we were struggling to feed the awning through the awning rail until once someone suggested are you cleaning your, your rail and to be honest with you being new to caravan we just we just didn't think we didn't think of cleaning in, inside that groove the awning rail so we uh, cleaned it all out sprayed a little bit of WD in there and then the awning started feeding in really easily and then someone said to me have you got awning rail protectors and I was like what are awning rail protectors and it's apparently which we have now is a length of this stuff and all you do is you clean your channel and then feed this in all the way for the whole length of your caravan and it stops the build up of dirt and grime in the, in the groove of your awning rail so that's top tip number four invest in some awning rail protector top tip number five this one if only we'd have known we when we first started caravanning were using this to lower our legs and it was a pain an absolute pain in the backside to do I've got a dodgy back so it was not great me bending down and having to wind down the legs which is hard work sometimes especially if the if, you know as when we first got our van they, they probably could have done with a, a service and probably could have done with a bit of lubrication on on the on the mechanism until I discovered this thing this fits on the on the, the bolt on the nut on the side of the caravan to wind your legs down so fortunately enough I not long bought myself a new cordless drill attach that to your drill wind your legs down as, as simple as that so a lot of people you're probably thinking oh my god I can't believe it but I didn't know we were new to caravanning so a few of them a few of you may still not know about these things because we didn't it was about six or seven months before we discovered these so we were winding our legs down the caravan and didn't even know you could get these so there you go another top tip top tip number six sometimes when you go to site the ground isn't perfectly level and you that the ground may be on a bit of a slope like that so when you drop your legs you may be short so I had some spare wood and I made myself some of these blocks so when your legs fully extended you can add these blocks I actually made four of them so it was just with scrap piece of wood so there's another top tip if you've got any scrap wood make yourself some blocks so when when you are on a pitch that's not perfectly level and you fully extended your legs you can use these so obviously raise the ground up so then your leg will sit nicely on top top tip number six so there you go six little ideas and tips for you um, that we've learned over the last two and a half years of our caravanning some of you more experienced caravanners are probably shaking their head now going oh i don't believe it but these were just some of the things that we, we learned for ourselves because for some reason it just didn't occur to us to have a look on YouTube and, and go on and what have you. We, we just kind of uh, found out for ourselves and we learned as we go as we went along. So hopefully someone has found some of these tips helpful and if you do please consider hitting like, share and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us and it would really much appreciate it. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra.